good. I just want to talk about muscle building. I will make another video about this that's just separately dedicated to it, but it's something that I want to touch on a little bit. But I started going to the gym on my own at age 15, and I joined Orange Theory at the age of 20, just about to be 21. I worked out on my own for six years straight, super on my own, legit. And I played college lacrosse, sports my whole life. So I have my own background of my own reasoning as to why. I can feel how I'm changing. I don't know if I'll ever go back. All the ways that you make me, build me out of all the things I lack. I don't ever wanna lose you now. Cause I don't think I'll make it here now. It's you and only you. channel i am getting ready to go to the gym right now it is a monday i'm having such a good day just signed up another client for november and there's like a week left in october not even but the main concern right now i don't feel hungry to eat anything right now because i feel like i've been on a schedule of kind of eating a little bit later in the day most days and therefore it's making it harder for me to get to the gym anytime before that because you guys know i'm focusing on strength training monday through friday and then on the weekends i will work out one day uh, or two days i will work out depending how i feel but if you follow me on instagram you know that yesterday i posted on my reels this new workout that i'm going to be doing like on the weekends like just one day on the weekend and it's just to help me work on like you know my pull-ups my push-ups my toes to bar also getting in some plyometrics and things like that what I'm getting at is when I am lifting I like to have food in my body because I feel like if I eat and then I go lift I can lift better as opposed to if I go with nothing in my stomach I'm tending to get like a little bit more tired so I would love for you guys to comment below and let me know like do you eat before the gym do you not eat before the gym whenever I did like group exercise classes back in the day like they were so early in the morning like, like I think you should work you know eat before your workout if your workout is lifting and strength resistance based you know what I'm saying because it will help you push heavier weight and if you, you know, point. so I'm gonna force myself to eat right now basically don't mind me I'm doing laundry I sort it all out I only have like one more that has to go in because I did it all this morning my ascent protein powder isn't here yet I did order a new bag though, so that's usually what I would do in the past is like drink protein powder and I do have like one protein powder but I'm saving it because I use it for this like protein cookie that I've been making. Yeah, so I'm also going to be making a video on that, so stay tuned. I want to start working out way earlier because there's less people in the gym, it's easier to film and I just like when there's no one else around, whereas opposed to if I go normal time when everyone else is there it's like crowded. So I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Oh, what the? There's always something to see when you live in the city, you know? Also, guys, outfit of the day, Fabletics. It's 10.40 in the morning, and I really want to get to the gym. I normally like to have protein before my lifts, but it'll be okay. It's all going to be okay. I'm going to make sure to eat some protein after the gym. It's honestly just the fact that I don't have, like, my protein powder. I think the protein powder is going to be, like, the answer to my issue. But the banana will have to do for today. This thing better help me lift. Mm. Okay. Also, since this is just like a little bit of a lighter snack, it should digest faster. Deep in the dark, down on my knees, I've seen things that you wouldn't believe. I was lost until I found that I'm invincible. Nobody gonna bring me down.
to see my parents. It was so cute at the end when my mom said that in the video. I didn't even think she was gonna say anything. You guys have to let me know what you thought of that restaurant. I thought it was so beautiful how it had all the decorations hanging from the ceiling like that and like that's actually why I wanted to go there. So I planned for my parents to come. We Ubered there and it was just such a nice night. I personally didn't end up drinking because it is a Monday and I've you know, just been dialing it back a little bit. If you tuned into my latest podcast, episode number three, you guys know I got really personal on that. And I, you know, just realized and decided that you know, summer is over and I'm just like taking, you know, more of a organized style to my lifestyle um, because I feel like before it was a little bit all over the place. But I dive into that on that podcast if you guys want to check that out. But yeah, so I didn't drink tonight. My parents did, which is fine. I don't care. They can do whatever they want. They're literally retired. So, um, yeah, we live different lives. And plus, like, you know, I'm trying to build muscle. So it was still a great time, and I enjoyed myself. I sometimes drink, sometimes I don't drink. And this is just an example of, like, I didn't really drink tonight. I could if I wanted to, but I just didn't want to. I could have fit it into my macros, but I just didn't want to. I know that this day really just flashed by and got away, and earlier I didn't vlog, you know, working with clients, but you guys saw everything that I ate today. Um, I got a lot done though, and earlier before when I wasn't vlogging, it was just because I was like making graphics and doing some laundry and signing up November clients. Signed up two clients today, which is awesome. We still have time left in the month but you can't really control like when you get clients almost eight o'clock but i just want to talk about muscle building i will make another video about this that's just separately dedicated to it but it's something that i want to touch on a little bit so let me sit down and get into it hello guys i actually decided to go to bed and that's because i'm trying to build muscle and one of the keys to building muscle is making sure you're getting enough sleep every night so you want to get like seven to eight hours of sleep make sure you're drinking your water and things like that but 
With that being said, I am going to talk about muscle building and just a few things on this topic. I don't want to completely just talk about it right now. I will do a separate video on that. I also want to do a video talking about my own personal journey and like my history as far as where I started, my whole fitness journey. Like comment below if you'd be interested in watching one of those, but I do think that I'm going to make one of them. But before we get into talking about muscle building, I just want to put a disclaimer. I'm not an expert. I'm just sharing my knowledge and my personal opinions with you guys. Feel free to comment below any of your thoughts or things that you know about this because I always love to hear what you guys have to say on the other side of the screen. Obviously, we know I'm not a doctor. I'm just a YouTuber and I am studying to get my nutrition cert right now, but other than that and having my own life experience, you know, that's what I'm going off of. So I am not somebody that is like, you know, go to school for all this. So watch at your own risk. But I want to start off by saying I feel like one of the biggest issues with social media is people will get on there and see somebody who's been training for years and compare, you know, their chapter one to somebody's, you know, chapter 500. You don't even know their genetics. You don't know their metabolism, you don't know their lifestyle. There's so many factors that go into, you know, looking a certain way and building muscle that doesn't make it a, you know, even playing field for everyone to build it as fast or as much. And that's just because, you know, a lot of things do have to do with genetics in general. And one of the big problems that happens when you compare yourself to someone else online, especially not knowing like all the variables that go into their physique, um, is it can be really discouraging to you. It actually happened to me literally yesterday. I was on social media and I actually had just gotten done posting a reel of my own. I was strength training in the reel and you know, I thought I had a really good workout. Then I'm scrolling on Instagram and I saw a reel pop up of somebody that is lifting like so much heavier, that is just using so many heavier weights and just obviously looks clearly like so much more built than me. And, you know, it really made me feel terrible about myself. <laughs> I was like, wow, well, I guess like I'm like weak. So, you know, that is an example of how that can happen and it can happen to anyone and you can just be scrolling and, you know, not even be ready for that to happen. And I wasn't ready for that to happen. I'm like, what? Okay, so that's the one thing I wanna start off with is just saying, can't compare yourself. Comparison is the thief of joy. And if you let it, it will consume you. The other part of comparison that can be really terrible is comparing yourself to your past self. I know I've gotten caught up scrolling down my feed from when I was like training at Prime Intensity Training, which is a gym I used to live next to. Um, and I like also was in a unhealthy relationship. Like, it's not that it was unhealthy, I just wasn't happy. And so since I wasn't happy, I really wasn't eating. I was also working at my full-time job, which made me really <laughs> depressed and miserable. So when you're not as happy, I feel like it's so much harder to eat. I was training so intensely at that gym and I wasn't really eating. So I looked super like lean. And then as I started eating more, I realized that I need to be eating more. And then as I got happier, I realized that I was just really sad and it had been, anyways, it's not the point, but either way, um, it's not like I've like gained a lot of weight. It's, we're talking about like a five pound difference and it can really kill you inside. When you, you know, get lean and then you put the weight back on. Like I am not someone who's overweight. You can still see like muscle on me. You know, I have a fit body that is totally fine. And the thing is though, when you've seen yourself at a better state, it's really hard to like be okay with where you are. So like as of right now, like, yeah, like I, I am really doing my best. Like I'm training Monday through Friday, lifting for 60 minutes or more. And then I'm doing low intensity steady state cardio Monday through Friday for like 60 minutes. The other side of that is, you know, the work that you're putting in right now doesn't always show up right away. The past couple months in summer, if you guys have been following my vlogs, you know I wasn't even that on track with my workouts. I was leaving Prime Intensity Training and Orange Theory along with moving, meeting all these new people, living in a really exciting part of the city, and 
you add that all together and I was a little lost with like what I was even doing. So now I have a plan down because I wrote up a plan, been following a plan and I've been really consistent with it. I know that stuff had nothing to do really with muscle building to help you, but I do think it was important to share all that. One thing I am doing different though than when I was training at Prime Intensity Training and I looked my best is I'm actually doing a Monday through Friday strength training schedule. Whereas when I was there, I was doing a lot of HIIT and then I was strength training twice a week. So my goal is to increase my metabolic rate by putting more muscle on my body and then I can have a higher maintenance calories than I used to have. Because if I could maintain more muscle definition on my body, um, I would like to. So I am trying to work on that, but you know, it's, it's a balance and it's not always easy. And I mean, in general, maintaining a shredded physique is not easy. It requires a lot of sacrifice. And a lot of times the things that you see online about, you know, people that do have these physiques, they're not showing the whole story or, you know, like it's, not that they don't have a life, it's just that their life is not the same as mine. That's for sure. I actually went more into detail on that in my podcast that I was talking about. Episode number three, check it out, check it out. I believe strength training is your way to build your shape. And then the way you're eating, you know, your diet, the food that you consume, and the amount of calories that you consume is how you can manage the amount of fat on your body. So if you wanna build the shape, you have to lift weights. And then if you wanna see that shape, you have to be eating enough calories that allow for that goal. That's the basic facts of physiques and things of that nature. You can definitely focus on building certain muscle groups and areas more so than the other based on how frequently you lift them and the intensity and the volume. Like for example, right now I lift legs three days a week and upper body two days a week because I really focus on building the booty. But I also work my abs like every day. I do toes to bar almost three to four sets of 10 to 15 every single day. But that's just because I'm able to. Like if I was sore and I needed to recover, I would give myself some time. But for most days, I do do toes to bar because I really enjoy doing that. When I was at Pitt, the days that I was doing strength training and all the strength training that I did felt like it was like the most valuable and the thing that was working the best for me. So to put on more muscle, I found online through just honestly what I've watched on YouTube or read and kind of what I agree with my own theory of how to put on muscle, which is progressive overload and focusing on one area at a time kind of. So that's why I do three days where for 60 minutes, I'm you know obviously using some other parts of my body, but for the most part, really focusing on one muscle group. And you can get more focused on things, like for my three leg days, I have one day that is hamstring focused, one day that is glute focused, and one that is quad focused. Yeah, or if you're just getting into muscle building, I always recommend to my clients that they can just put together their own two workouts, one upper body day and one lower body day, that they can just focus on hitting two times a week because that's a great way to get started with your strength training. For me, I feel like I do have a lot of background in strength training. I also used to train on my own before group exercise classes. So I will do a video on my fitness journey, like I said, but I started going to the gym on my own at age 15. And I joined Orange Theory at the age of 20, just about to be 21. So I worked out on my own for six years straight super on my own, legit. And I played college lacrosse, sports my whole life. So I have my own background of my own reasoning as to why you know, I look the way I look and I love to share all that with everyone. However, just because someone goes to the gym and they are focusing on progressive overload and they're eating the right way that they're supposed to eat, it is sometimes inevitable to put on fat while you are gaining muscle. I mean, there is exceptions to that, but usually it comes along with it. Um, but you can then diet down and cut back, but then you do always see like when people make the joke about how if you wanna have glutes, you lose your abs, but if you have abs, you lose your glutes. It's like kind of funny. And it's true. Guys, I'm sorry about this lighting literally ruining the shot. Oh my goodness, my bad y'all. So just sit here. If you're not eating properly and sleeping and recovering enough, 
you're not gonna see the proper results. So there are many factors that go into building your muscle and I feel like progressive overload, tracking your macros, getting your low intensity, steady state cardio in and eating the right amount of calories is something that is very beneficial when it comes to you know, muscle building along with genetics and somebody's history, those things that I mentioned in the beginning of this video. That concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it entertaining, insightful, or helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another Fitty Freckles video again. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. Check out my podcast and I will see you in my next video. Tell them who've been missing out. I'm on a mission, so listen now. Hey, I came a long way, 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 and I did it my way, way, way. Now I'm on my way up. Now it's time to pay up, and it's been a long day, day. I've been waiting for so long just to get where I belong. Yeah. Tell them who've been missing out. I'm on a mission, so listen now.